Welcome to the Mobile Schools Health Optometric Training video. So the round table bed race, uh, this is the 19th year that we're doing the round table bed race and again what a fantastic huge success. We had uh, over 70 beds entering, they entered their hospital beds, dressed it up and then raced it around the SWAT Cops race track and my goodness the guys had a lot of fun. Then there was the massive water fight at the beginning on the, on the start grid which everybody really enjoyed and got a bit wet. And thanks to our sponsors, of course, we've got Mix 93.8 FM, gave us some advertising space free of charge. Thanks to them, we got a few extra entries. And then Liquor Loonies came on board helping us out with some beers for the participants as they raced around the track. Some of the companies that we got in today were Avis, uh, Fury Motor Group, uh, Rockwell Automation, some of these fantastic corporates came through, gave their support and had an awesome fun day at the same time. Even though it was a bit chilly this morning, the day's turned into a beautiful day. We've had lots of fun. Now the party's started and everybody's really starting to enjoy themselves. Well, here we are at Harley Davidson in Johannesburg. Purpose of today's ride, as you can see the bikes behind us, is to collect blankets for poor kids in disadvantaged areas. We've been doing this now for six years, and this year we hope to have the largest event that we've had. John, um, as the guy who's arranged this, how many blankets are you looking to collect? Well, our target is 10,000. Uh, it's one hell of a target, but every single blanket that we collect, Jeff, is going to keep some kid warm. It's a cold winter. I think this, this particular year is going to be really cold. So for every child that has a blanket, I'll be happy, and I think Hog will be happy, and I think Holly Davidson will be happy. I think you're absolutely right, and from my side, I'd really like to thank the guys that are helping us, and that's Mix FM. Uh, the Round Table and Brightwater Commons and they're helping us put this together and we believe it's going to be an incredibly successful event. And I think there are a couple of guys that we should mention, Jeff and those are the guys that are really given a lot of blankets. Adcorp gave us enough to buy 500 blankets. Uh, EC Training Consultants gave us enough for 100 blankets and uh, Chris Reynolds, one of our riders, uh, donated 150 blankets from the Freemasons. So I think and then also above that a whole lot of friends have given blankets but smaller quantities so we've already got a good start for the morning i agree and uh, to mention another one a new owner who's just joined us donated 72 blankets yesterday Stephen orange and hopefully we'll achieve the goal that we're looking for my name is andy lenzovu i'm the manager of the Tambiti Sebu care center i'm round tables as donating beds to us which is a very good thing we really appreciate it a lot um, Sitandu, it's an organization for people with mental and physical disability. Um, it was started by a woman by the name of Tani Globu, who's my mother. She's disabled herself. And um, the reason why she started the organization was that she wanted to change the way people think about people with disability. Um, this is the first time we received bread from round tables, which is a very good thing because we had to take out some of the kids that were sleeping over reason being that we didn't have beds for them so they had to sleep in the floors which is not allowed and I'm sure we're gonna use the beds for a good cause and we're gonna have more kids the ones that um, we just took out we're just gonna bring them back on behalf of Sitang with Disabled Care Centre I'd like to thank Metro and Round Tables and Mix FM for this donation Thank you so much, guys. I hope this doesn't end here. Be looking forward to have continuous relationship from both um, round tables and um, Mix FM. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Program director, MMC Morwele, MMC for Human Development. Members of the mayoral committee who are here, I believe MMC Mokwena was here. Um, Councillors, project partners, members of uh, cooperatives, 
partners from the private sector or mutual and others, principals and students from schools, members of the media, city of Joburg employees, ladies and gentlemen, comrades and friends. Um, bef before I start, you know, we have such a long presentation around our safety. And I want to assure you it's not because we're uh, expecting something to happen, but it's in the chance that something would happen. It is a policy of the city that before every large event, we have, uh, we have a, a safety induction where how, how uh, people can exit because we think that safety is something that all of us must have on the, at the top of our minds, not just when we're in gatherings, but whenever we're out. So it's, a, it's part of our policy, and uh, to assure you that we've taken every precaution to ensure that things don't happen, but if they do, the, the directions have been given. Uh, thank you very much for this opportunity to to start uh, th at the start. Thank you very much, uh, Program Director, the Executive Head for Social Development, Mr. Wandile Zwane, members of the Mural Committee who were present this morning, councillors present, the City Manager, Mr. Trevor Fowler, our partners from the private sector, members of cooperatives present here, the principals from schools, students from different schools, members of the media, of course, coordinated by our leader in communications in the city of Johannesburg, Mayor Bintu, 